everyone, this is Grace of GB Maltese and I want to show you my beautifully finished crystal rose in the crystal vase, my pink, just gorgeous. This is a rainy day diamonds design. I love all of her kits. This is just gorgeous absolutely beautiful and so easy to work on. I, I did an unboxing of this a while back but today I'm going to frame it and this is the second picture I've done from her shop. She is on Instagram and I'll link that below. She's Rainy Day Boutique, Rainy .day Boutique on Instagram and I'll put that below. So let me show you how I frame most of my paintings, this is not sealed. I do not like to seal my paintings. I don't want to change any of the shine on this, these gorgeous crystals. So I will frame it under glass. That's what I'm doing today. I ordered the frame on Amazon. This is a timeless frames, 16 by 20. When I measured this, this is a 40 by 50 centimeter canvas. So when you measure it, it's almost 16 by 20, but not quite. So if you can see, this is the cardboard that comes in the frame. So I know I'm going to, it's not going to fit. I tried putting it into this frame. I've already opened it and, and tried that and it didn't fit. So let me show you what I did. It's a beautiful frame. You'll see it better once I get it put in there. This is what I do when they don't fit. Your frame, your picture does not have to fit the frame. You just need to find a way to make it fit. And that's where poster board comes in. And I just chose black poster board for this one because very little, if any of it, is going to show. I've already put double stick tape on here. The reason I do that is because it's much easier to put this down and lift it off if I do that first. So, I'm going to move my frame to the side. And I'm going to position this as straight as I can. About where I think it will be even. As I said, it's um, basically to hold it into the frame so it's not just sitting on the bottom. Most of this is going to, um, I don't know if any of the poster actually will even show. See how easy it lifts off and on the canvas. Okay, I'm going to position it from the bottom just a little bit here. And then, okay, let me go over that way a little bit. So let's do that. All I did was trace around that piece of cardboard I showed you with a pencil and cut the poster board out to fit the canvas and it will fit perfectly. Okay, that is not perfectly even. What I, I think I want to do is go just a little bit higher. Okay, I pushed a little bit too hard when I did it that time. Just want to Place it down. This is such a soft canvas that it's actually harder to do than the, the stiffer ones. But it's just beautiful. Just such a beautiful, beautiful canvas. Okay, well, let's see if I can get this placed the way I want. I'll just go up a little bit higher, but not that high. I'll do it from the top. Maybe. <laughs> okay. You can mark your things if you want, but this was just such a tiny, tiny amount that 
I didn't think it would need to be marked at all. Okay, it's on there a little crooked. So let's move it over a little bit. Move it over. It's very bendable, so I can do that pretty easily. Now, let's go over this way. I feel like I'm putting sheets on my bed. I'm trying to get them even. Okay. That, I think, is what I want, where I want it. Whoops, I turned that one over. There we go. I have actually had this canvas under my mattress on my bed to get the crystals to stick nice and secure. Okay, so it is now mounted on the poster board. The next thing you're going to do is to put it in the frame. That's all there is to it. And this frame is the same all the way around. So, all I need to do is place it in there. Press it down a little bit more here. There we go. Okay. It's fit in there very nicely. I'm going to put this piece of cardboard behind it to get it nice and secure inside the frame. And then I'm going to press these pieces down. I had pulled them up earlier. It's no use you watching me do that. down very quickly they bend easily I believe the frame this frame was $27.99 and with tax it was close to 30 so maybe about $30 it does have a glass on there it is a wooden frame I thought the price was great and I'm framing it myself so there is no other cost and it is finished. I now have this gorgeous painting. Push one more down. Complete and finished. It's finished being framed. So, let's put this. Oops, excuse me. My goodness, tripping all over the place here. You can see it. It's beautiful. See, you do not see the poster at all. It all you are seeing is the frame and the gorgeous rose. I love this. This is kind of a silver. Um, I have a link to my Amazon store, and I'll put this frame in that link. I'll put links to some of the frames I've purchased on Amazon. That's where I normally buy them. I will occasionally get one on. Walmart at Walmart if I can find one I like and that's the correct size So there it is up close Let me take a look at the frame Look how gorgeous this is. It's just The shine is amazing. You can see that there's water in this face. I am so pleased with this. I love it. Oh my goodness. Now to decide where I want to put it. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I wasn't sure this frame. I think that this color is perfect. Wasn't sure how it was going to work. And I thought, don't really want black with all this black background. Now, it comes with a little framing thing that you can use. Let me put you back down so you can, you're looking at the picture. This is the, the mounting pieces it comes with to put on the um, back of the frame if you want to use those. A lot of times I use command strips just so I don't have to make any holes in my walls, but it comes with everything you need. Now I've had, this also comes with a mat 
So if you wanted, if you had one that you were able to mat, there's no way I would, would mat this one. It's just, this is all that would show. Not very pretty. But if you wanted to get a, if you had a smaller picture and you just wanted to mat it, you could do that. Now, I've had people say, well, if you don't seal it, how do you know those aren't going to fall off? Well, I'm going to show you a picture that I framed. I guess it's been a year. And I've shown this one. I showed this, I think might have been one of my first ones I showed framing. And it is still in perfect condition. There are no drills falling off. The shine is perfect. There is nothing wrong with this piece at all. So, what I seal? No. I like to frame. And this protects it from dust. It's going to protect it from getting air, drying it out. So, this was a cheaper frame. It's the kind of a plastic type, and it holds it just fine. I could not find, if I could have found um, this color like this, I could have used something like this. But I am very happy with this. I don't think the price was that much to get to something that looks like this. Just a beautiful piece. And I am not worried about those falling off. No one's going to be touching this. And it's not going to be exposed to air. It's, it's sealed. It's inside this glass frame. Anyway, let me know what you think. Um, have you framed any of yours? How did that work for you? Any questions that you might have on how to frame? Any questions on any other thing that you might have about diamond painting or anything else? It's very easy to do. This, she has gorgeous, gorgeous canvases. You might want to check her out if you want something high quality and beautiful. Okay, well, I guess that's all I have for now. I hope that you are having a wonderfully blessed day. And remember, tell your loved ones that you love them. Take care, guys. I love you. Bye.